Liver is dying. 12 weird signs of liver damage. 12 unexpected signs that you might have liver damage. Today we're diving into 12 unusual signs that could be pointing to liver damage. Recognizing these early indicators is crucial because it empowers you to take proactive steps to halt its progression. Things like munching on processed foods, overloading on sugar and vegetable oils, popping too many painkillers, or even catching certain viruses can wreak havoc on your liver. So if you're curious about the state of your liver, stick around till the end because we'll be sharing some practical natural home remedies to give your liver a good clean and prevent further damage. Let's get started. Number 1. Itchy Skin Pruritus Itchy Skin Did you know your liver is a powerhouse when it comes to producing bile? This greenish-yellow fluid plays a crucial role in breaking down fats during digestion. However, if there's a blockage in those bile ducts, bile can back up into your bloodstream, leading to some serious itching, a condition called cholestasis. And it's not just during pregnancy. Liver issues like primary biliary cholangitis or obstructive jaundice can also cause this itching trouble. When your liver's not functioning at its best, it struggles to detoxify your body efficiently. That means toxins start piling up and itchy skin becomes a common complaint. Plus, high levels of bilirubin, a waste product from breaking down red blood cells, can also amp up the itch factor, especially if you're dealing with jaundice. So, next time you're scratching your head, literally, wondering what's up with your skin, it might be worth giving your liver a little extra love and attention. Number 2. Swelling in the legs or ankles When it comes to making albumin, the liver is important. Albumin is not just any protein. It is a big player in keeping your blood's fluid balance in check. But when your liver is not functioning properly, it might slack off on the albumin production, leading to hypoalbuminemia. Low levels of albumin in your blood what happens next is fluid starts leaking out of your blood vessels, accumulating in your tissues, and causing peripheral edema. In advanced liver disease such as cirrhosis, portal hypertension can cause fluid to accumulate in the abdominal cavity, a condition known as ascites. Ascites can exert pressure on the veins in the legs, leading to peripheral edema and swelling in the lower extremities. Number 3. Spider-like blood vessels have you ever spotted a tiny red or purple mark on your skin that looks like a spider? Well, that's what we call a spider angioma, also known as a spider nevus or spider telangiectasia. These marks are caused by widened blood vessels called capillaries near the surface of your skin. Now, they're often linked to a condition called portal hypertension, where the pressure in the portal vein skyrockets. When this pressure goes up, it can trigger the growth of extra blood vessels, including spider angiomas, right on your skin's surface. Liver damage can also mess with hormone metabolism, especially estrogen. Too much estrogen floating around, a condition known as hyperestrogenism, can also play a role in spider angioma development. While you're here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop with all our latest videos. Stay tuned for more insights into liver health. Number 4. Confusion or Difficulty Concentrating Hepatic encephalopathy is a complex neuropsychiatric syndrome that's often a sign of trouble in the liver. When your liver is not functioning at its best, toxins start building up in your bloodstream. Those toxins can wreak havoc on your brain, leading to symptoms like confusion, trouble concentrating, forgetfulness, and even changes in behavior or personality. It's not just any toxin causing the chaos. Ammonia is a nasty byproduct of protein metabolism. When your liver is not functioning properly, ammonia levels shoot up. This causes it to cross the blood-brain barrier, messing with neurotransmitters like GABA, gamma-aminobutyric acid, and affecting your cognitive skills. Number 5. Loss of Appetite your liver is responsible for breaking down all the nutrients from your meals, carbs, fats, and proteins. But when liver disease comes into play, this entire process gets thrown off balance. Your body's metabolism takes a hit, messing with how it uses and processes nutrients. Eventually, your appetite is affected. And just like we mentioned earlier, your liver is also the producer of bile. 
Liver issues like cholestasis or bile duct blockages can put a wrench in bile production, making it hard for your body to break down fats properly. This results in feelings of fullness, discomfort, and a lack of appetite. Number 6. Weakness in Muscles Liver dysfunction can take a toll on your muscles. Your liver is like the body's center for nutrient processing, but when it's not functioning right, things start to go wrong. Nutrients like proteins, vitamins, and minerals are essential for keeping your muscles strong and healthy. But when the liver is damaged, your body struggles to metabolize and absorb these crucial nutrients. Malnutrition and deficiencies in nutrients like protein, vitamin D, and B-complex vitamins start creeping in, leaving your muscles feeling weak. So next time you feel like your muscles just can't keep up, don't ignore it. Number 7. Increased sensitivity to medications. Your liver is the body's master pharmacist, breaking down medications into forms that can be easily eliminated. But when liver damage enters the picture, this whole process is disrupted. Enzymatic reactions that normally deactivate drugs get disorganized, leading to higher concentrations of active drug metabolites lingering in your bloodstream. The result is that you might find yourself feeling the effects of medications more intensely or for longer periods, making you more sensitive to their effects. But that's not all. Blood flow through the liver takes a hit as well. With impaired circulation, your liver struggles to clear drugs and toxins from your bloodstream. This means medications stick around longer than they should, increasing the risk of adverse reactions and side effects. Next time you're reaching for a medication, keep your liver in mind. Number 8. Mood Swings or Depression It is necessary to clear out harmful substances and waste products from your bloodstream. But when liver disease comes into play, this detox process gets thrown off track. Toxins start piling up, messing with your brain's function and neurotransmitter balance. Mood swings, irritability, and even depression are the results. Elevated levels of ammonia have been linked to hepatic encephalopathy, a condition that messes with your cognition and mood. Liver dysfunction messes with your brain's neurotransmitter balance, throwing off mood regulation and mental health. Changes in serotonin, dopamine, and GABA. They're all part of the package deal with liver disease, contributing to symptoms like depression, anxiety, and mood instability. But it's not just biology at play here. Psychosocial factors can also take a toll. Stress, social isolation, and coping mechanisms, they all add fuel to the fire, impacting mood swings and depression in folks with liver disease. Number 9. Pale Stool A pale stool might be more than just an odd color. When we chow down on food, our liver kicks into gear, producing bile to break down fats and digest our meals. This is what gives our stool its normal brown hue. But when your liver's not operating at its best, whether it's damaged or fatty, bile production becomes a problem. Liver trouble can hinder the flow of bile through your bile ducts, messing with the color of your stool. Suddenly it's looking lighter, paler, or even clay-colored, a clear sign that something is wrong. With impaired bile flow, your stool can take on a whole new characteristic. It becomes buoyant, floating on the surface of the toilet water. It's a subtle but telling sign that something's amiss with your liver. So if you notice these signs, reach out to a medical professional and get to the bottom of it. Number 10. Poor Night Vision Poor night vision, medically known as nyctalopia, refers to a condition where individuals experience difficulty seeing in low light or darkness. While it's commonly associated with eye health, the liver's role in this process may surprise you. You see, the liver isn't just about detoxifying the body, it's also crucial for synthesizing various proteins, including one called retinol binding protein. This protein helps transport vitamin A to the retina, the light-sensitive tissue lining the back of the eye. Vitamin A is essential for the proper functioning of the retina, particularly in low-light conditions. Now here's where liver damage comes into play. When the liver is compromised or damaged, its ability to produce and regulate essential proteins like retinol binding protein is affected. This can lead to a deficiency in vitamin A, as it's not efficiently transported to the retina. As a result, the retinal cells responsible for detecting and processing light signals become compromised, leading to difficulties in adjusting to low-light environments. Number 11. Cracked Heels 
Our skin relies on a powerhouse nutrient called vitamin B3, also known as niacin, to stay smooth, hydrated, and resilient. Now, when your liver faces trouble, it goes into overdrive, using up all the stored vitamin B3 to try and repair itself. When your liver uses up all that vitamin B3, it leaves your skin high and dry, quite literally. With a deficiency in vitamin B3, your heels and foot soles become more prone to cracking. It's like your body's way of sending out an SOS signal. Don't dismiss those cracked heels as just a minor inconvenience. They could be hinting at underlying liver issues. Number 12. Swollen Nails A lesser known indicator of liver health is swollen nails. Those swollen nails might be more than just a cosmetic issue. They could be signaling some serious liver damage or underlying health concerns affecting the oxygen supply to your nails. But it doesn't stop there. Have you heard of clubbed nails? These are nails with rounded and enlarged fingertips, often linked to chronic hypoxia, a condition where your body doesn't get enough oxygen. Liver diseases like cirrhosis are notorious for causing this. Keeping an eye on changes in your nail appearance along with other symptoms can be a crucial step in catching liver problems early. Let's talk about reversing liver damage, because yes, it's possible. But first, let's break down those stages of liver damage. It all starts with excess fat buildup leading to inflammation and the dreaded scar tissue known as fibrosis. If left unchecked, it can escalate to permanent scarring, the most dangerous stage that spells liver failure. But here's the good news. Your liver's a fighter, and with the right diet and remedies, it can bounce back stronger than ever. So what can you do? Here are some key steps to kickstart your liver's healing journey. First up, organic coffee in the morning. It's not just a wake-up call, it's a liver-friendly treat. And instead of loading up on sugar, try adding half a teaspoon of turmeric for an extra anti-inflammatory boost. Next, it's time to consult with a healthcare professional who can assist in tailoring a plan with the appropriate supplements to address your liver's specific requirements. And remember, don't forget to subscribe to stay informed about our latest videos. We have numerous additional tips and tricks to promote liver health heading your way.